Hey everybody, welcome to the next video in our series which explores every single tool in the MyCAD tool suite. This week we're going to take a look at a tool called Dependencies. Now the Dependencies tool is a great tool if you ever have to move SolidWorks files, parts, assemblies, or drawings from one directory or folder into another or onto a different drive or even onto a network drive. The Dependencies tool does this by redefining a new path in the references of your SolidWorks documents without having to open them one by one. So typically, when you move a file folder or even just a single file in SolidWorks, anything dependent on that file will automatically search in the old location of the original file, and those dependencies will be broken. So let's go down and take a look at the key features. First of all, we can redefine the dependencies in the event of moving to a new server, hard drive, or directory. And we can select a directory directly from Windows Explorer. And we get the option to check current dependencies, and the dependencies tool is applicable to all types of SolidWorks documents. So let's jump right in and take a look at the dependencies tool in the MyCAD tool suite. All right. So in order to see how this dependencies tool works, let's click in the dependencies folder under the MyCAD tools folder. And under that, you'll see the dependencies application. So we'll just go ahead and open that. Now, if you don't have SolidWorks open, it will start SolidWorks. SolidWorks does need to be open for the dependencies tool to work. So keep that in mind. And before we jump into how the dependency tools works, let's just take a look at the interface. First off, we have the root path name. So the root path name is where you enter the folder containing the project that you want processed. So we can just click on the ellipses over here and pick that folder. And we can also contain all subfolders within the folder. Then next we have the dependencies area, and this is actually going to be the path to change. So we can select a file or a file folder containing those projects that we want processed. If you do want to type it in and disable case sensitivity, you can do that. And then once we have that origin file or folder, then we select the new path where we want SolidWorks to look for the files with the dependencies. You can also go ahead and type it in here as well, or paste it from the clipboard. We can choose between parts, assemblies, or drawings that we want processed. The default setting has all three of them checked. And then we can choose if we want the dependencies tool to create a text-based report that gives you information about the process that just happened. So that's the basic interface. We also have a view dependencies tab over here, but I'll get to that a little bit later. Right now, let's just take a look at what our main interface can do for us. So I have a couple folders here. I have an example folder that just has a bottle assembly here. And then I have the drawing for that bottle assembly in this secondary folder here. So I'm just going to go ahead and close the dependencies tool here and then open up this SolidWorks drawing. And if we take a look under the sheet one, you can see that the drawing one is dependent on this assembly. So what would happen if we took this folder containing the assembly and the two part files associated with that assembly and move them? Well, we would break the dependency on that drawing. And then when we open it up again in SolidWorks, we'd have to search for it. And it's not that big a deal if you only have one or two files to convert. However, if you have 10, 20, or 100 files, then you can see how that would become really time consuming and tedious. So let's go ahead and move this entire example folder. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it, and I'm going to move it to a completely different drive. I have basically a blank drive for my D drive, and I have an empty folder with SolidWorks parts. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in there. And then when we go back to that dependencies folder, you can see that all that's left is the drawings folder. So now when I go ahead and open up that drawing, we're going to get a message saying that SolidWorks was unable to locate the file. Since that example folder no longer exists on the G drive, we'd have to browse to the file and go to the D drive, go to SolidWorks parts, and here we have our bottle assembly. And it updates just like that. But the dependency tool gives you a whole lot more elegant solution to this problem. So instead of saving this, I'm just going to close it without saving. And if I bring up the dependencies folder with the dependencies tool, now we can begin to process those documents using the dependencies tool. So the root path name, I'll just go ahead and navigate to that. Hit OK. Now the path change, I'm going to copy it from the properties of this bottle assembly drawing. paste it in here and it was called example folder and now it's important that I put a backslash at the end of that folder to close off that location and now I select the new path 
for that new path it's right on the D drive and I'm just gonna select example folder click OK and you can see it already puts that backslash for me I'm gonna go ahead and leave all three of these document types checked and when I click apply I get one more warning saying changing the dependencies do you want to continue I'll click yes and here's our report and then when I go ahead and open up that drawing again I get zero errors. I don't have to go through that entire process because the dependencies are already secured. Bottle assembly. And I can even open up this assembly to show you that the dependencies are maintained. So that's the main functionality of the dependencies tools in the MyCAD tool suite. As I mentioned earlier, we also have this view dependencies tab over here. The View Dependency tab allows us to drag and drop any file, and I'll just use that same exact drawing, and we can drop it in there, and it shows us all the dependencies of that specific file. So this whole tab is more of a query or a reference for all of the dependencies that your files might have, but it's a nice little addition and one that might come in handy with just such a task. So the next time you have to migrate any SolidWorks files, parts, drawings, or assemblies, to a different folder or a different drive or even a network drive, the dependencies tool in the MyCAD tool suite is really the best way to go about doing that. It ensures that all your dependencies will be kept in order and this task is able to be accomplished in one fell swoop. So thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at solidworkssupport at mlc-cad.com. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.